A veteran-owned West Monroe business faced some adversity in its journey, but found its way through. NBC10's Joel Massey has more on the meadery that began as an idea in Germany. Two Warriors Meadery opened in December of 2019 and has the distinction of being the only business to make mead in the state. They were up and running when a fire burned and destroyed their building back in March of 2021. Co-owner Curtis Sims. It was heartbreaking because, you know, most businesses don't survive the first year. Um, and so we were, we were on track and doing very well. And then to get kicked in the teeth was... You know, it was, it was, it was heartrending. It was a two year process to get a building rebuilt and all the legalities worked out with the city of West Monroe. But Curtis Sims says it's all been worth it. This is my retirement job and uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, and I enjoy interacting with the community and, and producing something that the community really loves. Sims uses all local honey and fruit and the process takes about two months in the tanks. It is very similar to making regular wine, in the, but with the exception that all of our, our uh, meads are based with honey. And so instead of using primarily fruit of, or like grapes, we use honey as the primary sugar component to ferment into alcohol. Sim says that the part he likes best is seeing customers' reaction when they try it for the first time. It's, it's really great to see the the um, change, the, the change in people's minds when they come in and go, oh, this, this is totally different. And making a difference in the military community, as well as connecting with the public, is what keeps him going. For your Arklamist News Source, I'm Joel Massey. Since Two Warriors Meadery has reopened, they have come out with 10 recipes and have two new ones on the way that will be named by a member of a group of enthusiasts excuse me, called the Berserkers. The finalists will be chosen and then picked from a random hat.